Hey, so welcome back, Cotter. Got a new toy here. Uh, the machine torch for my uh, Power Max 45 came in. And uh, one thing I noticed when I was looking at the literature for the machine torch is that the machine torch is uh, pretty dang long, but the actual guts of it are much shorter, and they give you this uh, cable clamp that goes way back yonder. And yeah, this thing is like a foot long and way too big for my machine. But, you know, I saw something on a demo machine that Jim Colt built and he had a machine torch but it was a stubby little thing and I said bull gee you know that looks pretty straightforward to make a modification of so what you got here is uh, a couple little jumper dealies here or ground clamps or something so you got the body of the torch right here and then you got this retention sleeve you rotate this around. I put a pencil mark right here. And this looks like uh, it's like G10 or some other phenolic. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck this up in the lathe and I am going to part this off and then clean it up with a file and shorten that barrel tube, redrill these holes right here, and make myself a stubby torch. Okay, so what we're going to try to do here is uh, part this off. I've got this uh, Iskar self-grip holder here in a uh, Dorian Tool Company holder. This is a pretty good cutoff tool. And I figure, um, yeah, this has got a, like a lathe finish on it right here. You can feel the grooves in it. You can see that this has been machined with an end mill. So I think this stuff is probably decently machinable. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll set it for 350 and give it a whirl. I'm going to part it off here at this pencil line. And try not to whack the camera tripod. Well, easier said than done it's looking like. Uh, I'm going to have to move that tripod a little. Let's try to get this thing lined up here. Okay, that's pretty good right there. So, I got some uh, tape wrapped around the tube. No. 
a bueno. A piece of that stuff just uh, flew off and jabbed me in the finger. This stuff has some uh, occupational hazards. Okay, so the next step is to uh, drill these three countersunk holes in the uh, tube. I've got it clamped in this little vise right here, and I've used these uh, to make a scribe mark. I'm just going to eyeball it on center and uh, drill an eighth inch hole. But it felt like, looked like. Um, now I'm gonna get a countersink. Here's a 82 degree countersink, and that looks like it'll work. Test one of the screws. Yeah, looks good to me. I'm gonna figure out how to do this indexing to get it the other points here. Um, Okay, so let's put this thing back together. It's all filthy now. Um, Okay, here we go. It's all shortened up. Let's uh, clean some greasy pop off of it. You can really hear those marks from the lathe when they made it. Okay, and so this just goes on the end here. We choke it down. Okay, now we've got a flexible whip for the torch holder. And so now, let me give you an idea how much it's been shortened. Went from a K 
King Kong sized torch, which was, yeah, that was 12 inches long. And now the torch is six and a quarter inches long. And that'll fit nicely on the machine. See, I didn't even hook this up. Just took it apart. Sort of like as Dave Jones says, don't turn it on, take it apart. Well, uh, that's the end of this segment. I got a couple of the things I need to do.